Another spectacular Saturday afternoon for college football. Your Script Sports Saturday showdown coming to you today from Greeley, Colorado, as the Northern Colorado Bears entertain the ninth ranked Montana Grizzlies as this rivalry that dates back to 1976 gets renewed here once again. Welcome inside to Nottingham. Montana, as we mentioned, we'll be kicking it off. There's Grant Glasgow, hits a little squibber, bounces high at the five yard line, where the Bears take it, and right across the 20, met right away as the Grizzlies stop third down now. Keone with the man in motion, snaps a bit high, Montana puts on the pressure, and the pass is complete. Out across the 35, near the 40 yard line. Heck of a pass by the quarterback from Northern Game off in the country here today in Greeley. David Afari, the running back. Here's a long pass down the sidelines, overthrown, intended for the big man, and a penalty flag flies, so that could very well go against the defense. That's the initial call. Yeah, it's going to be pass interference against Jackson up top. You know, the bear. Carmen here comes up with the big third and eight. Pass comes right out to the side and overshoots the intended receiver, Carver Cheeks, out here. So that'll bring up a fourth down. Aaron Font Senior out of Oxnard, California. And looking for him for a breakout game. Here's the handoff to Osmo. Breaks it to the outside, crosses the 50, and goes out of bounds inside Northern Colorado territory. It'll be spotted right at the 48 yard line. Fife, the quarterback. Naked in the backfield. Now he's going to throw across the middle. Has his man. Looks like Keelan White. Nope, it's Drew Deck out of Kalispell, and he's down around the 30, inside the 30 to the 29. Great route by Drew Deck. 38-yard line. German lost the handle, had to just pounce on that last. Now five, looking, looking, throwing, and the little short man was not open, and he had to throw it away. Carter, he's 0 for 1 from 50 plus. Northern Colorado has a returner back there. Big kick. No good. He missed it just a little wide right. That's like at number six at Missoula Country Club <laughs> for the Bears. Caden Mace, good story for Northern Colorado. He's a walk on. He played Division I lacrosse for Drake. Here's Keone hit in the backfield. He's not going to get that first down. Faked it to Mace, and Keone kept it himself. Met a stellar defense. Yep, so let's hear the First call. Base mask. mask is the call. The field at the 40 yard line. Calls Garrison. Big tight end goes in motion. Here's Keone's tap is, pass is tip. Pick Klusiewicz. Interception for Montana. That ball was tipped. All right, the turnover. Here's another look at it. Keone, ball is tip. Klusiewicz, man in. The hour in the right spot at the right time. We're scoreless. Come right back. In there. Gilman in the backfield next to Ayotte. And in fact, Gilman will get the handoff, but the Northern Colorado defense up to the task. Let's see, he's right close to the first down marker. Those pictures, okay. Kaylee Ayotte, here's Aaron Fonts, gets the pitch in motion. Looking for a block, he gets one across the 40. Out of bounds at the 30 yard line, but not before Fonts picks up a first down. Yeah, they give him nine yards. David Hoagie had a chance for him in the backfield. Here's a quick pass by Ayat. Complete. But the hit right away on the receiver. And was one-on-one -on -one outside with Cushion. So he just threw a nice little quick out. Enough for the first down to give to Gilman on first down. Again, he bounces to the outside. Stays on his feet inside the five-yard line and out of bounds. What a runner Eli Gilman is. The man's average. So Montana, first and goal. Out the five yard line. Ayotte calling the signals with backs in the backfield to give to Gilman. Breaks to the outside. Score! Montana draws first blood in the game. Eli Gilman, he showed his full. Tell you, uh, th this defense uh, of, Nor of Northern Colorado has done a pretty good job. Most of it's Eli Gilman. That was two tight ends. Gilman. Extra point is up and good. So Montana, after the it's a good hard run by him to set up a second and about a seven. Big run up the middle. And the Bears have it. Enough for the first down. Montana. Swarm of tacklers, but not before. Drive the ball down the field against this defense. Third and long. It is up to the running back. Keone 
Fakes the run, hands it to the first man through, but it's going to be well short of the first down. The yard line to gain was out at the 46 yard line. Third and two. Ayat with three receivers out here to the near side. Looking in his over the middle, tipped at the line. Aaron Fonts almost got a handle on it, but good defensive play by the big lineman for the Bears in the first play of eight yards. He'll get another shot. He's stifled right at the 30, but fights for extra yardage as he gets over the 30-yard line. Host of Montana Grizzlies on stacking the pile along with Riley Wilson, Hayden Harris. We talked about it. this football world is a small world sometimes. Nearly, it? yeah, nearly identical size for those two. Here's Keone, has a man open, and a big gainer out across the 45 down to the 43 yard line. That's complete out there. Situation, Montana defense. Now Keone will drop back, little screen pass, and he has all kinds of running room. Down to the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 18 yard line. That's David Afari. Boy, was that a well designed play, Marty. They come just offside by a touch. Third and nine inside the red zone. Here's Keone. Has a ball picked right by the Montana at the three. It went in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. And a second interception will put Montana. In Balls a curve. Second interception of the game. Riley Wilson right there. Here's another look at it. Montana preserves the 7 0 lead with that interception right there. Eli Gilman sh shifts back to the side. Five backfield. Five looking. He'll find Gilman at the one. Needs to put a move on. Tries to put a move on. Still on his feet. You can see how hard to bring down Eli Gilman is. Maybe got a gain out to punt. They can recover from that. Ty Morrison will be punting from his own end zone. Back deep is Monroe, and he retreats to get the ball back into northern uh, Colorado territory. Kyle, let's see what the Bears have in mind offensively. Offensive coordinator Justin Walshershide. Here's the kid in the backfield, and it's going nowhere. And that looks like Hayden Harris. Even though you're using the same cadence. So after the penalty, second and six now. Here's the pass out. Out of bounds, Junior Bergen with his first reception. And it's good for a Montana first down. The three and a half minute mark here in the quick moving first half. Ayat wants to go deep, has a man, and it's complete. Out across the 35, right at the 36 yard line, Xavier Harris. What a throw by Ayat. Right now it's the Grizzlies with the seven nothing lead. There goes Osmo, comes back after a motion. Now Osmo looks like he has first down yardage down near the 25 yard line. That'll move the chains. Yeah, Jay, you mentioned it is the last time they've beaten Montana on the field. Here's the give to Osmo, breaks in the middle at the 10, still on his feet, down to the five. Make it the four yard line. Nick Osmo with a big run, maybe the biggest of the day so far. Yeah, rely on his offensive line in the run game and get chunks in the pass game. That was his goal today. Osmo again down near the three, but he's hit with a bunch of tacklers there. His forward progress is stopped immediately. Maybe movement. They should use one of their two timeouts left. Second and goal. It's Ayat. Will he run it? Will he pass it? He's going to pass it. Touchdown, Montana to the tight end. What? Well, that's a great job by Ayat. Pressing, 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 because nobody was open. And all the Montana receivers, they kept moving. They kept trying to separate. I, uh, look at his eyes. He's going through his whole progression. That's like a box of players. There's one in back end line. One inside the back end line, and one in the flat, and one uh, inside of that man. So great job by, uh, great job by the Montana receiving crew. Ty Morrison adds the extra point. Ian Finch getting some new wide receiver here for the Bears. Now Keone is going to give it in the backfield to Afari. He breaks the tackle, heads to the sidelines. Tackle made over there. Ronald Jackson, the cornerback, coming up to make the stop. Tony the Grizz did to come in here and block a punt, and they've got close, and they've made Hunter uh, shake one or two of them. All right, the give to Eli Gilman with the last play of the half. He's going to stay in bounds now. And that will be the last play of the half, barring a penalty. And I don't see any flags down. Bobby Houck as he looks over to check things, okay. 
Well, we saw both quarterbacks as we expected. Yeah, Marty and Vyot, yeah, and Moore at the end of half. And then they get the ball here to start the third quarter. And Xavier Harris is going to run it out from the end zone. Has all kinds of blocking up front. He breaks to the outside at the 40. At the 50, needs one more block. And he's going to get caught even behind at the 25-yard line. Xavier Harris, what a good start for Montana here in the second half. Kip shot to about a 45-yarder in this situation. I expect the Grizz just to think, go forward. There Ayan. it is, quarterback draw. And they, Northern Colorado did have that well diagnosed on the quarterback. Great, keeper. great job by the Northern Colorado. Yeah. Ty Morrison in. 47. Kick is up. And it's good. So Ty Morrison makes sure that Xavier Harris' long kickoff return is not for naught as he cashes in on the field goal of Northern Colorado. He, he, he's not only uh, fast, uh, but he's also tough. And there's a quick pass, and it's complete. Complete out to Noah Mangum. Richardson setting up shop next to Keone, and there goes Cheeks in motion. Now switches his way he's going. Here's a pass across the middle, complete. Good for first down yardage into Montana territory. Down to the 45. That Ronald Jackson in on the stop. Going deep and nearly it is intercepted by Montana. I believe it is. And that's Jackson Lee. And that pass by Keone overthrown, going for the deep corner route. The third interception today for Montana. All the way over to the left sideline to make this interception. Watch him. Look at the speed he's got to make a play. Clear over between the numbers and sideline. Hanna now they put Junior Bergen in motion. And this is Ayat finding the receiver out of the backfield. Eli Gilman along the sidelines. Across the 25 out to the 27. He's faced a third and three. Ball just shy of the 35 yard line. Going to give Eli another look at it. No, it's Ayat on the keeper across the 40. He'll have the first down. Good fake to Gilman. And Ayat keeps it. First time we've seen, other than that quarterback draw earlier, he got some running room that time. Yeah, and Possessions here in the third quarter. Montana, you see, leading it 17-0. Ayat drops back, has some pressure. Finds Gilman out of the flat. Breaks a tackle across the 50, and now he's off. Loose and hurdles a player at the 30 and goes down at the 29-yard line. Look at the athletic ability. One, Jake. Three tight ends in the game now for Montana. And the give is to Gilman as he hurdles his way. And it looks like he will very, be very close to first down yardage. Oh. Still defensive changes this time on this play for Northern Colorado. Here is, it's gonna be a yacht, the fake to Gilman. He crosses the 10 down near the five and takes a big hit. But ability and speed right there. Rocco Terore stopping Gilman at the five. Here is a pass by Gilman into the end zone, incomplete. Lots of traffic down there. Yeah, you said it, Jay, there was a lot of traffic. And uh, you know, one reason. With Eli Gilman in the backfield. Fonts, Ayat finding his man. Keelan White, Montana, touchdown. Another RPO, Jay. And a little scuffling going on. Uh, and the referees are discussing something. There's a flag down here. See the old field. Yep. Offense number 72. Five yard All penalty. Right. Well, that will take Repeat that touchdown down. off the board. And back. You come off on an RPO. All right. So this time Gilman gets the handoff from Ayat, and he stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Klimzak mentioned his uh, play. Central Michigan transfer is a redshirt senior, 6'1, 286. He's fit in nicely. The fourth quarter. Three receivers split out to the near side. Here's Ayat looking all alone as Gilman into the end zone. That's a touchdown for Montana. Again, Eli Gilman. Good choice by Ayat. Drop back pass. Northern Colorado, the Bears, they were playing the end line. They, they, great coverage, and they allowed Gilman uh, in the flat to be almost uncovered and slip into the front corner. Almost got a look at it. All right, Morrison adds the extra point, and Montana tacks on another point. Up to 20. Good soft hands and secured the ball into the tuck. Third and two, give up the middle. Running room and a first down for the Northern Colorado Bears. Uh, that was a one-back power 
on third, Navoli guard. So let's see if they stay aggressive, stay if they see if they stay up tempo. Yep. Keone completes across the middle. Good completion there. Cash cheeks, the tight end. At a territory, the ball at the 41. Snap to Keone across the middle. Big Carver. And the defense was there for Montana, but what do you do against somebody that's six seven? And inside right in front of them with good location. Here comes some pressure and they give up the middle seeing it go. And this is Darius Stewart with a big run, giving the Bears another first down as he rumbles over the 20. Well, there's another one, that's a free play. Oh, dropped a touchdown. We saw the flags fly and it looked like Montana's defensive line jumped offsides again. Yeah, Keone knew, he knew. So he just simply put the ball up to get a free play. And, and when you know you have a free play, why Outside, not throw the ball Defense deep? number 55. Half the distance to the goal results a first down. It gives them a first down as well. In the signals, Montana looks like they're gonna bring the pressure again. Let's see, here they come. And the pass out of the backfield. Intended for David Afari. The Colorado bench as they perhaps change the play. Here's the pass out of the backfield. It's complete. Down to the two, maybe the three yard line. Tyson Bocher, please. Third and goal now. Ball at the three yard line. Keone getting some pressure. Ball is tipped. Ball's incomplete. Montana was looking for another interception on that one. Yeah, full blitz with a free rusher. You can see those big receivers out to the near side. This is Meese in motion. Again, the pass from Keone is knocked down by the Grizzlies. Great job by the Grizz defense. Uh, a fantastic job. Ke Keone needs to find a lane to throw the football in. Nowadays, you're throwing the ball so quickly that sometimes you can't find that lane. Every game, time after time, especially in the fourth quarter. Third and one, they're gonna give it to Osmo, who breaks a tackle and breaks into the open at the 20, and now he's along the sidelines out near the 30-yard line. And got some good tack, good Montana offense has in mind. Third and five. That goes Nick Osmo in motion. Ayat, and his pass is knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Got a recurring theme here. Both yeah. lines are swept Eastern Washington yesterday. So they, they've got a lot of sports and a lot of conferences to take, take into account. Four different conferences. That has to be a, a unique situation for any Big Sky school. So hands off to for a portal. Now, once these fellows that he's recruited. Pass nice across down. the middle. Yeah, that's a, that's a good, nice job by Fife on a third down conversion. Aaron, Aaron Fonts, go ahead, Marty. Yeah, and so Ed, he knows how to do it. He can make Bill Edwards. And then coach for them as well. Here's Stevie Rocker Jr. with the rock across the 40 into the open field across the 35 down to the 32 yard line. Stevie Rocker Jr. getting his opportunity. I, I, I'll tell you, what's the difference between Northern Colorado? It looks at 24 nothing. Gotta be proud of the Northern Colorado defense, don't you, Jay? They stood up to a high powered offense today. Here's goes Stevie Rocker Jr., the transfer from Arizona. As he's down to the 26 yard, Junior remains in the backfield next to Fife. And he will get the handoff and run straight up the middle. Very close to the first down. Yep, they're gonna give, say he got enough yardage. So the drive continues and stays alive for my third and four. Five in the backfield all by himself. Here's the pass across the middle. Is that Junior Bergen? Yes, it yeah, is. Ah, Junior. Just a quick slant. What a throw by Fife. Back slot with Stevie Rocker Jr. in front of him. Here's the give to Rocker. Oh, and he's tripped up as he crosses the three down to the two yard line. I'm surprised they don't just do a victory, so they obviously want to score one more time in there. Rocker. Rocker didn't quite get didn't in. Didn't quite get in, did, get in, yeah. did he? he? He thought he was going to get in. Good tackle. Three times in a row. Let's see. Indeed they will, and he's into the end zone, untouched. Oh, there's a penalty flag fly, so we'll hold it right here. Looks like a false start going against Montana. It'll back up the Grizzlies, so Legal no formation. Yeah, Offense, legal formation. more than four players yeah. in the backfield. Five-yard yeah. penalty, repeat third down. Well, I would expect them. Colorado at home, uh, 
against Cincinnati. Both teams were five and two. Heck of a game tonight in Boulder. I'm going to pass. Now he's under pressure, backing up, Did you say where running around. He needs to get rid of this. In fact, oh, he threw it and completed it right at the one yard line to Ryan Simpson. Uh, Northern Colorado, where do they go from here? There's the two head coaches. The one on the right, I believe they go Davis. Yep. They Opportunity go to, Davis. to knock another team off. There's Bobby Houck. He's got the ninth ranked team in the country. They may move up this week. Uh, he's planning playoffs. Ed Lamb is planning recruiting. Let's get the fellas in here and watch out, watch what happens in the next couple of years. While Davis preps for, or rather than Northern Colorado preps for Davis,